Kabir from Canada once again and I think I'm uploading too many videos of late because it's summer so I'm so excited to go out and um, film every time so it's becoming a uh, dangerous kind of a, not dangerous it was it's becoming a fun game for me to upload videos for you guys and I, I'm hoping I'm like being uh, you know giving you some sort of a um, a nice uh, feel good kind of video where you can see your uh, whatever is happening in Canada without getting into too much of the controversies but yes we have controversies which I've uh, I'm kind of uh, I've explored and uh, in my several videos where I got a lot of hit meals so you know that you've seen that but uh, definitely you have your own opinions that's fine definitely but um, I got to a few emails from you, uh, uh, which I find I it, I was very uh, touched by them. So I want to read out one email to you that has come to me, and uh, it says, "I watched your videos on why immigrants are going back to Canada. You will find the link below on YouTube, and I really liked it. I'm also fairly new immigrant based in Toronto at the moment." And I'm thinking on similar lines of going back to India as the economy here is pretty bad shape and also the housing market is pushing the new immigrants to the limit. The expenses are on the higher side as compared to the earnings. What are your thoughts on these? Though I wrote to him saying that uh, uh, I can... Uh, okay, one second. Wait, what did I write to him? If the feeling goes on for the first two years and then something happens despite everything. That is my writing to him. So that's that's what I told him. You see, immigrants, there are a lot of videos in, incidentally on why immigrants are leaving Canada. I didn't see so many videos when I made that video, which kind of became almost viral. So now there are a number of videos why reasons uh, saying that why people are, uh, immigrants are going back to Canada, going back to India, leaving Canada for the matter. So um, there are a couple of, there are a number of reasons which I have told you in my uh, video, which I link, I'll give in this video below. So, but here is what I wrote to him. Uh, I wrote to him that the feeling goes on for the first two years and then something happens despite everything. So uh, they say, um, and then he wrote back to me, thanks for your response. I live in North York. He's a, He's come to Canada uh, and you, yes, you're right about the feeling stays for a long, but I think you can, if you spend two years anywhere, you get comfortable with the place, which he's right. Unfortunately, at this point of time, I'm unable to afford your, uh, uh, whatever, so uh, afford to live here. So, however, um, everyone uses this phrase, welcome to Canada, but I feel there is a deep, pretty deep meaning behind, beneath it that uncovers slowly. So I wrote to him is that you are right welcome to canada means a lot it means now here's your sword and here's the battlefield enjoy that being said uh, i'm sure you'll find a destiny and okay so uh, i wrote to him this and um, i am very uh, touched by what he wrote back to me after that we had a kind of a conversation so he's written i don't want to discuss much because uh, he might feel a little awkward uh, hearing this but it is um, uh, you know uh, whoever has written this to me you might if you are hearing this listening to this I must tell you one thing that you are so right there was there but there is one small thing you can go and live in any country and get used to it that's true but in Canada one uh, cab driver told me this when I came here he said that Canada breaks down your spine and then you grow back a different spine altogether. So it's it's very it's very difficult to explain in terms after living here in, for 11 years. It's very difficult to explain what I felt the first time when I came here, whether I felt negative or though I did not feel any negativity or any uh, reason to go back. To, even now, I don't feel the reason to go back. But there are reasons. That is what I, you know, insisted on saying. There are reasons, which will kind of, which can be improved upon. And that there's another. Um, okay, this taxi driver told me another thing, that um, you actually, you actually um, lose all your identity when you come here. 
your past identity is totally wiped out and you start on a new life new identity now whether you take that as a compliment or not is your issues actually if you ha already have an established identity in india or anywhere else if you are doing very well that is what my uh, saying what i want to say is if you are doing very well in that country you have two maids you have a um, somebody opening the door for you and uh, you have a driver and you have guards on your uh, then please bear with the country and stay there because here you're going to have different problems not those for those things will go away and you will be faced with different problems you will not have other you will have the better scenario of course but here the situation is completely different so it's like you have to adjust to any country where you go so i found uh, adjusting to this country was very difficult initially but i found uh, i didn't never thought negatively so i got adjusted to this but yeah it, adjusting here is going to be difficult okay so uh, take that another thing is another um, letter i email i got from somebody a very young girl she's only 23 years old and she's come here for two and a half years now and she wants to go back to india and then she wrote to me that i feel that uh, uh okay let me just uh every thank you so much every time i talk about going back to india i get weird looks as if i'm foolish to even think of leaving canada that's terrible because india is doing so well now i mean of course no country is perfect no country is perfect and that is what i want to tell you that even in canada when you come to canada it is very good compared to us look at what's happening in us it is very good very controlled very mature people out here but it is a very big struggle when you come to canada so remember that new immigrants who are coming here you should remember that canada is very much welcoming you always welcoming you but you have to bear the brunt you have to take up the challenge and fight the battlefield you cannot have a red carpet welcome over here you are welcome very much welcome to be a part of the work workforce but definitely you cannot you know come here and dictate the rules you cannot so here uh, what she's saying is uh, he, i get some weird looks if i uh, uh, if i am as if i am some foolish to even think about leaving canada okay and then i won't read the whole thing because i don't want her to feel awkward but i'm not taking any names and uh, she should know whoever i'm talking about by reading your experience and uh, how much free you felt even while struggling that is one i want to feel too sure i have faced the killer heat in summer in india as almost as if my skin is going to burn but i was still happy just pure bliss just wanted to be in social work take care of underprivileged privileged children Mm, but i went into talk listen to some smart talker when i was young and went into business degree so um yeah she uh, she wants to go back to and i have definitely encouraged that please go back if you want to and um, i am not fully going back not you know technically moving myself from here to there but uh, i am definitely uh, going to be there for almost half the year and here for half the year that is what my ultimate plan is so i'm going to contribute to my country now that the living situation is much more conducive i'm going to go back and continue contribute to my country whatever i can because i'm owe that to my motherland and then i'll uh, come back here and uh, enjoy the best of both worlds because i deserve it i've done all the struggle and to meet this this life to come to an uh, and to come to achieve come to reach this state where i can afford to not in financial terms only financially <laughs> totally down but in terms of um, being able to do what you want in life you know this is my ultimate goal what you want to do in life and for that i have to remain most importantly physically healthy to be able to travel back and forth in two continent continents across the world travel half the world uh, around the world every year it's going to take me a lot of energy so for that i have to stay physically fit and healthy and i have to be also financially sound in some ways and be able to uh, earn some money in terms of my uh, business and this and that so in that way uh, we have to do it that uh, and i'm glad i'm not working anywhere in, as a in a job because i would not have been able to make this life goal at all 
if I had been working somewhere, because you are, I am my own boss. I am doing my own own businesses. I am my own boss. I can make this plan. So um, that is all I wanted to tell you. Is that I wanted to read out this fact that people have been reaching out to me, telling, asking me how they want to go back. So that's very touching, and it's very touching for me that you know people want to go back to India from here. That is very touching, and uh, also um, if you want to come here, it is totally your decision. So I'm not guiding. I'm not uh, telling you don't come here, stay there. No, you have to decide. It's not a bed of roses. You do not come here with huge expectations. Just remember, you are just moving country. A uh, country, whether it is worth it or not, moving a country. It's not a better country. Definitely, it's not. It has other problems. You have other problems. So it's just that. Maybe it looks good from outside because the system runs very smoothly, and there is a lot of. Uh, honesty in the system so definitely that that is a plus factor so there are positive factors lots of positive factors in canada and living in canada and uh, lots of negative factors which i discussed in my other video so positive factors also i discussed in another video i don't want to waste your time on this so, but in india also has its positive factors which you cannot see from near which i can see from a bird's eye point of view and i can see how much it has come evolved over the past 10 15 years when i was there you know like the from the time i was there and to now it has evolved greatly so you can read my blog about uh, in life and laughter birds rape me at night that's the name you can just find search on google and i'll give the link also below so you can read that blog to see what india was at that time when i left what i had to go through when i left when I, to come here now it is a like a cheese walk not even a cake walk it's like a cheese walk these days so but living in canada india is also good if you do if you can you know handle situations very well of course the job scenario is bad job scenario is bad here too so there is no uh, um, we have to think beyond jobs basically so you have to think beyond jobs you have to think about how to create jobs and do something on your own and that that thing you have to um, take care of i guess so you take care and uh, i just hope uh, you guys are having a nice day and we'll keep watching my videos i'm just enjoying putting up videos for you because it's summer and uh, we are going out and enjoying ourselves and i really feel like sharing everything with you have a good day